your boy P4 with another episode of the Just Listen Podcast. What it do? Yo, what up? Y'all know who it is. It's your boy Carr, a.k.a. Hinuwine. What's happening? It is I. <laughs> Feel it. <laughs> At the ass of got the, sniffs, got the sniffs in here. I don't say nothing about you when you say, hey, it's your boy Carr. A.K.A. Hey, Henuwine. You Cause you know why I'm not quick. Me? I get to the point. You, 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 you. I don't sound like that. Four does. For real. I mean, I didn't do that one. Stop time. being rude. Shut up. We got color. Right. Do it. Yeah, we good, man. We good, here. man. We here. We here. Another yeah, we uh, blessed like, day. Another blessed. Day. Another blessed day with the Justice <laughs> Podcast. It's a blessed day. And we got a guest <laughs> in the house. <laughs> Special guest in the building, I guess. I appreciate it, man. We got, a, got a guest in the house. What's, What's going on, man? What's good, man? Introduce yourself Uh-oh. and let the people know who you are. My name is Christopher Busby. I'm the uh, CEO, chef of uh, Busby's Baskets. I'm glad to be here. I appreciate the invite, man. Yeah, all day. Yeah, man. Appreciate you being on the show. Oh, and uh, asshole. Don't do it, man. <laughs> you ready? You, uh, you right. starting out, you, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're going to you have plenty of time. Okay. I'll, I'll hold it in for a I know you're gonna. I know you're gonna Just have something. Can we get there. get the get the go good get stuff? The, get the, he was ready before we get is. to before, before we go down that line. Let's go. You could turn it to the edge. Come on, okay, okay, okay. I apologize. Jesus, I'm crazy, man. I'm thank. I'm just thankful to be here, man. Man, we appreciate you, man. Being on the show and I appreciate you guys, man. It's a blessing, man. It's a blessing. Support one another. Yeah, 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 and. uh if anybody want to know, man, this man is a great chef. Uh, me and him go way back. Mm-hmm. We always talking about food palettes, mm-hmm. food palettes, and uh, you know he has a a big palette, <laughs> a big palette. You know, you just send pictures in the in the chats, mm-hmm. text messages of the food palettes and everything. And you eat I was like, my guy, right here. I'm a foodie, man, to say the least. Well, I mean. Uh... I'm not finna be eating nothing crazy. Like I can't remember the gentleman's name, but uh, he goes out to different countries and he eats like, you know, eyeballs and stuff uh-huh. like that. I won't go that extreme, but you wouldn't try it. Got not no eyeballs. Oh, you got you as a chef. Man. Who would eat yeah. an eyeball? Not no eyeballs. Plenty. I'm not eating eyeballs. See, eyeball. the thing is, I think you know when you're old enough or experienced enough, mm-hmm. you know what you like and dislike. You're right. So if you know that you won't like something, then there's really no need in trying it. But if you get that inkling, like, you know what, that might be straight. Yeah, that means you done crossed over. So is it is that, it uh, is it hard to cook something if you don't like it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, you you definitely want to be able to know what you're preparing. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I've I haven't prepared anything that I haven't tried before. Mm-hmm. Okay, for sure. And I'm real. I'm a rookie, man. You know? Uh, Are you? I am. I mean, you've been doing. How long you been doing this? I've been. How long you been cooking? Because I know you uh, started out. and It was just, you know, I didn't know you. Was I'm not. I'm with not. The chef. I'm not classically trained. Mm-hmm. Meaning, mm-hmm. you know, culinary school mm-hmm. things like that. Mm-hmm. I graduated from Florida A and M University in Tallahassee, Florida. Mm-hmm. I have a degree in uh, fine arts and graphic design. And once I graduated from college i came back to atlanta which is where i'm from i was born out of crawford lawn and i grew up out of riverdale mm. okay so once i came back to to the crib i started working on the ramp and uh you know just playing around mm. and when i say playing around i mean like uh, just dating and having fun this that, and the third and when i met my wife which was my just my girl at the time she and i would go out to eat to different places every single time. We mm-hmm. we linked up. Mm-hmm. Every time we got together, which was like weekly, we would go to a different restaurant. <clears throat> and then I just got hooked on that. Different cuisines, uh different different places to try, you know, new foods and things like that. And um uh, all three of y'all again, I, I probably said it before, but you two gentlemen, I, I, we never worked together. Right. But we came from the same base, which was where we worked. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We just never ran into each other like that. But me and Epps, you know, we bumped into each other and we worked okay. together from time to time. And it was uh, on the ramp. 
you know, or it was just in the break room, we would chop it up. And our right. common interests would be, like he said, food and music, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Uh, but I kind of ventured off in doing different things with the company. Mm-hmm. And once I left the company, my next job was at a restaurant. First and foremost. Did you want to shout them out? Yeah, it's Blue Ridge Grill, uh, day off of West Paces Ferry. Okay. I was a, a pastry chef over there. I started off as, um, I can't even remember what the name of the, the position is called, but they really like bus boys. Yeah. That's how mm. I got in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So that was going to be my next question. How did you get in? Yeah. I got in. I was a, I was like a bus boy. Mm. Okay. But I expressed my interest to the managers and the, and the head executive chef that I was trying to get in the kitchen. Mm. Mm-hmm. So they threw me in the, um, they threw me in the dish pit, which is, that's like normal protocol. Yeah, yeah, you dishwashing. Okay. Some people call it hazing. You know what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. or you like working your way up. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Right. So I was in the dish pit hustling. Then now, once they had that opening in in the kitchen, I was able to get into that. You had an interview for that? Mm. Okay. I interviewed. Just- I interviewed for the position, mm-hmm. and they threw me in the dish pit. And then when they trained me in in the kitchen, mm-hmm. I just excelled. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I was finna get to uh, before. Cooking is like uh, it's a it's an easy correlation to my artistic background. Okay, for me, you know, being a barber, that's an artist. Mm-hmm. Being in the kitchen as a chef, that's an artist. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? There's so many different forms of art. So when I'm doing something with my hands and I can do like plating and creating different things, it's easy for me to learn and retain that information mm-hmm. as far as like getting stuff done. So I took it seriously and I did that. And uh, and I've been doing that for a couple of years over there at the restaurant Okay, until COVID hit. So when COVID hit, I was on furlough and I thought it was all capped. Mm-hmm. My wife is uh, a pharmacist at Northside, and she told me about this coronavirus, this and the third. And, uh, <laughs> and then when my chef told me, you ain't got to come in tomorrow. Yeah. Man. I said, okay, ain't got to come in tomorrow. <laughs> you ain't got to come in the rest of the week. I said, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she was right. <laughs> and I tell her, you know, it's, they won't tell us when we write. Uh-huh. Unless they want to, right? Okay, right. But you know, mm. you gotta let them know when they're right. So you Most did. definitely. So I let her know you was right, just so you know I was listening. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying that's a little something I can keep in the back pocket. You know, that but, you listen that time. So um, <laughs> I do a lot of cooking at the house. Okay, you know I do most of the cooking at the house. Mm. Wife said you should sell this food. It's good. You can sell it. And I was a little hesitant in the mm-hmm. beginning because right. I wasn't confident in myself. Right. Okay. But, you know, as they would say in trap music, you uh, got to jump off the porch. Facts. Okay. <laughs> so that's what I did during COVID. I just jumped out there and I just started creating different things as far as like uh, meal delivery uh-huh. or meal prep, private dining. That's kind of where the basis of Busby's Baskets is. Okay. Uh, but it started off with meal delivery, just creating a menu, putting it out there for sale, whoever shopping, run it to them. Right. Okay. And it started, it, you know, started off, I'm still in the early stages, but it's definitely picked up way more than it has in the very beginning. Look at them blessings. Right. <clears throat> blessings. So you, to, so you have to say thank you to COVID. Thank you to God first. First okay. off, and my there you Lord go. Savior, Jesus Christ. For letting this pandemic happen. For for giving and people an, op- an opportunity to to expound on their talents, you okay. know what I'm saying? It you was know? a shift. It was definitely it's a shift. shift. It made it's you have shift. to go, you know, because <laughs> there's certain people out there during COVID who were in trouble. Yeah, but I was fortunate enough to not be in trouble because mm-hmm. you know I, I was able to start something new, there which is know. a blessing. Yeah, it really is. So. <clears throat> that's what what that's what's going on now. My my, I'm working on my own company. Um, through COVID, uh, my wife and I, we've been able to do a, a lot of good things. Okay, but it started with 
being in the restaurant that I knew I had a, 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 a passion for food. Right. But when I got, finally got an opportunity to constantly work with it and work around it, that's what really helped me mm-hmm. to where I can just come home and I can just do my own thing. It was basically practice. Sometimes mm-hmm. I'll be missing that constant practice of being in that in that restaurant, getting them tickets and having to run it out really, really fast. Right. Mm-hmm. I, and I had a um I had a, a flashback of that today because my schedule was really tight. So when I got home, I knew I wanted to whip up something to bring to you guys. Okay. And with the time schedule being so tight, it, it, because I've had that experience of getting it out of, on on the tight window, mm-hmm. I was able to do that. I told my wife, that, I was like, man, that I cooked it faster than I thought I did. I thought I could. Mm-hmm. But yeah. it was good. Something light, though. Something light. Like what? We got What'd here, you get? Uh, What'd you bring us, man? What'd you bring us? This a meal prep was what I usually do. Okay, okay. For, well, what this, what, what this would be for would be a meal prep. Okay. We got, uh, this is blackened chicken. Uh-huh. Just mm-hmm. sitting over some yellow rice. Go ahead, sit that right here in front of me. There. Sit that right there. Mm. Sit that right there. No? Okay. That's just meal I prep. And I, I see the presentation see. with the with the bowl. Right. right. That's just meal prep, though, man. Okay. Set the meal I mean, prep. Private, me. private dining, you know, that's a little different. If that's okay. what you want, you'll get that. Okay. But private dining, usually somebody will want something along the lines of, you know, lamb, uh huh, steak, okay. lobster, mm-hmm. things like that. You can do all of that. Oh, yeah. You do it well, huh? I do it well. He does it well, man. He does it well. I had an experience. I had, uh, was trying to, you know, we got COVID. Yeah. And, uh, Mm -hmm. go ahead. You know, me and the missus hasn't been out at the time. And I was like, I want to do something for my birthday. So I just hit my man up and I was like, yo. And I hit him up early enough to, you know, because I didn't know what his his schedule was like. It was was too early. Mm -hmm. No, nah, he oh. didn't hit me up too early. I but you nah. you did. <laughs> nah, but the, the, you uh, did hit me up early. Yeah, you did. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, did, I'm not, a, but I'm not the, a last but the, minute uh, guy, so okay. I just wanted to make sure that Valentine's Day was crazy. Like, and I knew it would be. That's yeah, why I hit you when I did. Mm-hmm. Again, man, thanks. I'll be all the glory to God. The, the what was coming to me got brought down to what I could handle. Okay. Because right now I'm just on my own. I don't have no staff or anything. Right. Like that. Mm-hmm. So with the demand that was coming for Valentine's Day, it was brought down just enough for me to be able to take care of the people that I need to take care of. Okay. And mm-hmm. I don't and I and I could not be I didn't have to be worrying about being stretched and pulled and you know, that could tamper with the product, you know what I'm saying? Right. Or the quality of mm-hmm. what I'm trying to do. Yeah. So I, it was perfect, really. Okay. It was good. Oh yeah, it was real you good. Tell the truth. It was good, man. I'm not telling the <laughs> truth. Because you, know, you know now. what? He um he did it for our mutual friend uh Terrell Slater. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. You know he had did that with his fiance. She uh she surprised him with it. Okay. Yeah. You know he was in the house doing the chef thing and uh yeah I hit Slater up. I hit Slater up. Okay. You yeah, know and that was sure. a, huh? Yeah, you had to make sure. No, no, no. I just had to know what his experience was. Okay. I just wanted to. It's all, it's well, all you know, the same good. thing. Yeah, and, and, but yeah, no, but I though? appreciate that though, because it doesn't even matter. Because he hit me up, that lets you know that Slater gave him his real opinion. Okay. Right. You know what I'm saying? It, he, yeah, he hit him up to see if it was straight. Yeah. And he told him it was obviously. Okay. Phil Epps when he wouldn't have hit me up if, if it was cap, you know what I mean? Yeah. If it wasn't hitting on what what he wanted it to hit. Okay. So yeah, I mean, we can be real about right. that. I'm gonna tell y'all later. Because this for me really personally, good. what I really like to do, cause I like I said, with me being in the early stages, my website's not necessarily it's not up yet. Okay. But what I want is something where I can get constant um reviews. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cause again, I'm by myself right now, so all I want to know is how the cu- the customers are enjoying the okay. the uh, food and the service. Okay, so that's important to me. Right. Constructive right. criticism is nothing to be taken lightly. Yeah. Okay. What's your IG? So people just bust these baskets. Okay. Just make sure everybody know. B U S B Y S B A S K E T S. So here's a real question. Oh, if you know, if it was trash, would you want to know? I would. I would. Like, uh, there's this, there's this one customer I had one time. Uh, what she's a, she's a frequent, um, client of mine and mm-hmm. we have, um, 
we do meal preps and she kind of gives me the, the free and leniency to kind of just do whatever I want. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I learned through her that I can't do that because there have been times where I've prepared something that she doesn't like, not meaning she don't like it because it tastes bad, but meaning she don't like it because she doesn't like what comes with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Meaning like, she don't like olives, so I can't put olives in it. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Or if she don't like tomatoes, and I didn't know that, mm -hmm. it, it's just a learning curve for me. Okay. With me being in this early business and, you know, having relationships with clients and things like that. And it's, again, it's a blessing. You always want to improve. Oh, yeah. You can't yeah. be having your ass on your shoulders when somebody telling you about something. Okay. Because I'm the same way. Yeah, if I think something's not good and they tell me that they want my opinion, you got to tell them just so they can be better. Mm -hmm. So what's the worst customer you had? I hadn't had any, any bad customers. Nobody bad. Nobody didn't want to pay. Someone said they want a discount. That's going to be annoying and shit. Someone <laughs> that just, that can't. Like if I have a problem and annoying. I know what I can do, that is annoying. this is my price. Yeah, it can. And you know, people like that, that your cousins, all of them. Automatically, I, I know you. So go ahead and give me a little. Yeah, no, nah, I haven't had any discount type situations. I don't have people where I'm thinking they say, "Oh, I want X, Y, and Z." Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then they say what they want, and then I'll get to cooking, and then I look down. Uh, where the money? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You asking for my service? Uh huh. <laughs> you gotta get that money up front. Like I kind of want that before I get on the road. Yes, yeah. or That's whatever something. I'm doing. You know, just communication is important. Okay, and it's really important now with me being an, a business owner. I have to be in constant communication with folks. Right. If I'm running late, or you know, uh -huh. what I'm saying if I can't, if I can't get whatever to you. I mean, it's just if I want to make changes to the menu or if I want to see if you want something different on the menu. Okay. Uh, it, uh, communication is important and you have to build, you know, good relationships with people. But that money don't. You are. <laughs> see, the most important thing I'm doing is I'm not doing we it for free. We ain't got to talk about that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> somebody get a look. We're going to get this. We get a discount. I'm going I'm to put that out there. See, that's how you're going to say. Well, no, 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 this, no, this, this is, is right this here. Is, this is the sample. Yeah, yeah but that, but that's. This is mine. That, yes, that size is yeah, about sure like what you would it. get, you know what I'm saying? For the meal prep. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. And this is, this is, and, good. It got, and it got some weight on it. Yeah, this is good. Oh, yeah, no play play. That's signature dish. dish. You got a signature dish you like, you enjoy cooking? Like, yeah, y'all go enjoy this. This is, this is yeah. the one. I don't have a signature dish that I, that I, that I like to like put out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. But there's different things that I think are in, in my wheelhouse, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. That's in, that is that's easy though, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. that's, that's real easy. That's thing number but some black and chicken. Mm -hmm. Okay, nothing but that's easy. Mm -hmm. That's nothing in the wheelhouse. Okay, that lamb I did with you, I've done that so much. Yeah. Wheelhouse, yeah. But you know, there's so so many different variations of how you want to prepare food. Okay, right. you know that's why um, I enjoy what I'm doing because. What you doing and and learn the the how you I mean there's no limit in what you can learn you know what I'm okay. saying mm -hmm. there's no limit but that's a good question though your signature, signature you gotta get a, you gotta get a signature yeah something. I do have I, I want to work on that mm -hmm. uh huh I want to work on that yeah usually when I watch the Food Network all chefs have that one dish that's mm -hmm. like yeah I, I'm confident in this dish that you're gonna enjoy yeah I mean like I said there's stuff that I'm confident in mm -hmm. but. Nothing to where I think it's better than everything else. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This, this, this look cocky. No, no. He said, no, no, he said, oh, all my. No, up there. no, I mean, it's, it's, it's I mean, it is confidence. Uh, you can call it cocky. And that's cool. But like I said, with me being in these early stages, <laughs> in these early stages, you want to learn as much as you can and you want to yeah. get good and crafted at whatever you come in contact with. Like, there's not anything that I've put more effort or effort into learning and getting more skilled at than the other okay I try to do it at all things okay. nothing wrong with that. yeah so have you thought about doing a food truck i have thought about doing the food truck the food truck was probably one of the first things i wanted to get into mm -hmm. uh, once i started doing busby's baskets i thought to myself man these type of dishes 
they're not necessarily that get it out real quick in 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 three to five three to five minutes kind of dishes. No, they're not. Most dishes you get out of food trucks be like fried, you know, something yeah. quick, a mm-hmm, burger, yeah. fries, <laughs> tacos, that kind of, tacos, yeah, that kind of thing. <sighs> But more more of a upper upper end cuisine, yeah. you're not gonna get. I mean, you could probably get black and chicken out of a food truck quick because the black chick black and chicken don't take long. Right. But you're not finna get no lamb quickly. No. no. Right. You're not getting steaks and lo- you know, I mean, right. well, depend if they gonna probably fry the lobster. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's just a little different. It's just a little different. But it's nothing that I'm opposed to. Okay. I'm okay. not opposed to it. Cause I mean, yeah, you would have to figure out what kind of lane you want to be in with yeah, the food truck. Yeah, like now, I will say, if I was able to do something closer along the lines of what I'm doing now in food truck form, that would create a, a great lane for me. Because mm-hmm. the lane's not huge, not here in Atlanta anyway. Right. I know in other places that food truck is popping. You know, in L.A. and right. Right. Oregon, places like that, they big on food trucks. But Atlanta is not. Yeah. Major food trucks. No, we have some. No, but it's have it, and it's very hidden because when I go to different cities in Atlanta, I'd be like, damn, they got a whole. Yeah. You see, of like 10 food trucks and they just mm-hmm. park. I'm like, where will y'all be at? Like, yeah. So. You really got to follow them on their Instagram. Then they'll Slick. They hit you up, right. this, that, and the other. Because look, I'm going to tell you now that I'm, I'm, not, I'm putting this and telling you this right now, man. Mm-hmm. You can be, you're going to be just like your girl in uh, Slutty Vegan. I Uh-oh. appreciate that. And she started in the food truck. Mm-hmm. She did. And and you said how fast co- she got a couple of buildings now. Yeah. She? yeah. And she and she popping when we was on uh lockdown, it was like this. Mm-hmm. Like she was popping them out like babies. Man. And that's crazy you mentioned that because I got a, a homegirl of mine. I was on the phone with her the other day. She's been a supporter of my own company asking me, should I get slutty vegan? And that just go that's just a testament of how booming yeah. mm-hmm. she is. Mm-hmm. You know, they, it, people are just, it, it's in people's mouths all the time. They're yeah. always talking about it. You have I some? haven't had it. You ain't had it? No, I haven't had it. Still haven't either. I no. guess I'm the only one who's had it. Yeah. yeah. yeah yes, it's it. it's pretty good. I was, you know, never had vegan until I had her. What, what did you try? Um, Look at the chef coming out. Dang, what I had what uh, like? the, the very catch? first time. <laughs> you know what? Oh, you, it's, you had it more than once. <laughs> yes, I've had it more than once. Oh, so you liked it. <laughs> yeah. I might have to look at the menu because I the don't Philly. Wanna... I no, 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 no. That one that was the last thing I had. Um I they don't call it the Philly. I know they don't call it they might. It's, it's Somebody a, it's said it's like a Philly. A, a vegan Philly cheese steak. Yeah. Plant yes. based meat. I don't know what I never had it. But I've just heard people say it. You just trying to say look. <laughs> go ahead. Do go in the competition. That's no competition. Oh, okay. It was a it was a one night stand. Because I'm not what I'm not doing nothing exactly. vegan. It's called a Philly Hill, something named different. <laughs> but the, the thing is that, like <laughs> the, because when she started with the food truck, it was just like crazy. I know and lines around I, the corner, right. right? And I, I stood in the line. I, st- I stood in her line twice, but one was in the food truck line, and then one when she first opened up her first spot. That's and, beautiful, though, that, that the people going out to support her right. like that. It, yeah. it, it was, it was serious because. At first, you can get two sandwiches, but I stood in the line so long because I was getting me and my wife some food. I stood in the line so long that it got down to where they said only one sandwich. Oh, wow. Right. So I still got it. I let the wife eat it. I had a piece of it, but why? I was about to say, who got it? Who Man, stood look, in the line? Look, look, as long as I was in that line, I'm getting something. Getting I'm half. not going back empty yeah, hands. Half. Yeah. They didn't have nothing. This is getting eaten on the road on the way back. Man, please, I'm gonna give her that sandwich. Yeah, I gave her the sandwich, but, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> Here, but yeah, this, had this impossible. <laughs> and then Shots I'm gonna stop by somewhere else to get me. A, no, I mean, I that was. <laughs> he said he'll give me a no, real burger. I ain't shooting up because <laughs> and the people. Oh, say it. You can't call it a real burger when it ain't meat. <laughs> I mean, it's a form of a burger. Different it's a form but she's not calling it a burger. Different okay, burger. so what's a burger? I guess it's like a patty with two, two buns, buns and then. some condiments and stuff. Right. Basically, I agree burger. with you now. I mean, I'm with you. I am. I ain't trying. But, I don't want nobody to agree. You made me think that's why she don't give it the names like hamburgers. She just give it. You know, right, what's the name thing? of her burgers? 
She don't have burgers. Right. She, she called it, you know, like explicit one name. night stand. Explicit yeah. Explicit name. That's probably why she do that. Exactly. It's a, it's a cool But thing not only know. that, but right. it's um it's marketing. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I mean, she's good at that. Slutty vegan. Who'd have thought? Right. Right. I Who'd mean, have thought a name like that would be jumping? Right. <laughs> I mean, you know, you got folks gonna be out here man. slut walking and slutty <laughs> vegan. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, man. When we was coming up, the word slut was a a down. You know that yeah. was, you know, what I'm saying just the word slut in general. Boy. Now I derogatory. Mean, they, they proud. Now they proud. They proud. Okay. Sluts ain't proud. They slut walk. This, oh they, my god! And they out there proud. Say, be proud to be a slut. Okay. Be proud to be a slut and don't eat meat while doing it. I, I, see, <laughs> like I said, shots. <laughs> I can't <laughs> shoot. I can't shoot, man. I'm trying to get on their level. That's you trying to surpass. I'm trying to surpass. There you go. I'm gonna surpass. There so you go. When Speak you, it out you there. get bigger, how are you gonna manage your staff? Like, are you gonna have some type of Iron Chef thing going on, or are you gonna get like? Exp- Do you have people you know you want on your staff? Once you I have people game. that I've worked with that I know who are like skilled, mm-hmm. who I could really work with, but something like that is probably, it's more like a, uh, cross that bridge when you get to it kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because the people who I, who I'm speaking of, there's no telling where they'll be in their stages in life. Right. You know what I'm saying? Whether if they can, if they can jump on board with me or this, that, and the third, but. That would be a blessing, though, to be able to bring the people that I know mm-hmm. on. Yeah. Right now, it's me trying to get help with uh, administrative stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. paperwork, that kind of thing. It's a lot of it. It's a lot, it's a of, lot of paperwork. Of All I want to do is cook, man. It's a lot of yeah. it. I just want to take an order and cook and, and put that out there. <laughs> I ain't mm-hmm. trying to figure out no taxes. Yeah. No, no website type yeah. stuff. No EINs. It's a lot. It's a lot. LLCs. All of that st- type of stuff. I feel I'd rather just be bankrolled to where I can just pay somebody to type me up. Mm. Gotcha. Okay. I mean. That's a lot of people like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Because there's people who go on to school for that and mm-hmm. they're skilled at what they do when it comes to paperwork and lawyers and yeah. things like yeah. that. Yeah. Anybody that's watching, they want to do for free. Just try run. <laughs> trial run. Trial run. Trial run. Try run me. Yeah. See? Uh, what, what, what <laughs> they go try uh, run. What they call that? Uh, it's an intern. Internship. Yeah. Free intern. Free internship. Nah, you, you might can learn some a, things. You might get a plate. See? <laughs> you got to leave. You don't get no <laughs> coins right now. <laughs> yeah, no coins you right now. You might get a plate. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah you need some yeah, intern. You little college kids, get you a little dinner. Yeah. Get you, you, and, you and your little girl, your boy. <laughs> Get y'all a little free dinner for as free as you do it right. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. Just All right. So, Man. do you think you're gonna go at this point in in your your skill set that you say you have? Do you plan on going to uh, culinary culinary school? Ooh. If uh, if I can, that's a no. Handle it. No. It's it's <laughs> not cheap. Enough. It's not cheap. It's not. Mm-hmm. So if I can do it, fi- if I can do it financially, like within a certain amount of years, because that's something that I, if I'm like booming in success and then I turn 55, I'm not finna be trying to go to culinary yeah. school. Cause mm-hmm. there are people out there on Food Network who hadn't gone to culinary school. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Right. It just depends on where I'm at with my company financially and how I can grow within my, uh, within so how it's going doing. now? You're not going to go. How I'm going? How's going now? I'm not going to go. So he's not going. Like I said, I mean, I don't think I don't think going. you have to go to culinary school. I think it just, you know, something. It just that, takes some real practice. But I think uh, some restaurants do require that, right? Some restaurants do, unless you own it. But I've um that that restaurant mm-hmm. that I worked at, my executive chef, he wasn't classically trained. But mm-hmm. he been in he been going up through the ranks since he was a teenager, you know. Mm-hmm. He been doing it for a long time. Okay. And them executive chefs, I ain't got no number, but they definitely got a bankroll. Especially you talking about these five star. My restaurant was like four and a half, five star, something like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. But the um the clientele was more old heads. A lot of old heads coming Big in. Big pockets. There. Big mm-hmm. pockets. Big pockets. Arthur Blank. 
Now, oh, yeah, this big pockets. There. Matt right. Ryan, Cam. You no, know, it'd be that kind of money be coming in there. Okay. So, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, what's the, the, the quarterback for uh, Cleveland? Currently? Baker Mayfield? Mayfield, I'm being mm-hmm. in there. Go ahead, sport man. I said Johnny Football. <laughs> Manziel ain't that? been in there. I know. What's that face? You can't. Right, he was <laughs> squinting. You know, it, it's some good money. It'd be some fucking, good money in there. Have you seen though. yourself? Uh, yeah, it sounds like it. Uh, Alton has been in there. He's a Food Network star. He, uh, there've been some good. Do you, people do you watch there. those shows? All those uh, food, food networks, Hell's Kitchens, I, and oh, it's not I don't watch Hell's Kitchen. My favorite shows right now on Food Network would be something like The Kitchen, um, Beat Bobby Flay. That nobody beats. Random oh, times. Nobody. Nobody beat Bobby. You this is your beat. best dish? You know how you got to beat oh, I got Bobby? it. Let me change You got to beat Bobby by doing something um, from more of like the Asian. Something yeah. different. Uh, cuis- something from a different culture. Okay. You got a shot then. Yeah. American. Mm-hmm. But you know what, though? Kevin Rathbuns. They have a steakhouse down there on uh, Crog Street. They beat Kevin. I mean, they beat Bobby. Okay. I feel like Bobby's overrated. Mm. I do. I do. I watched. I, I watched one. beat Bobby Flay, and I like his food. Chops. Look. I watch Chop too. Chop, okay. I like Chop. Yeah, seen Chops. Iron Chef. I don't watch Iron Chef like that. I like Iron Chef. Yeah, more and more so Iron Chef. from back in the day. I don't watch the Iron best Chef. one. Who beat more and more Nobody. I think, nobody. I think my favorite. Moto. My favorite episode is the Kitchen. That's just because I look at it as, from as a student. You know what I'm okay. saying? They be putting stuff on there, and I'm like, oh man. Okay. I can learn. I'd be learning stuff when I watch the kitchen. So, what you scared of cooking? You talking about that? You looking at something? You like? Oh, I can't do that yet. Oct- Did that ever cross octopus. your mind? Okay. Blowfish. Mm-mm. Not doing it. <laughs> you're not going to. You're not going to try. Nah. I mean, and see that. That's why I like. That's what I like about the culinary. Uh, the what? What they call it? Culinary world. The the world. The genre. Whatever you yeah. want to call it. It's so vast and so broad mm-hmm. that you ain't got to go to one person for something. You right. know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I don't have to prepare everything. Right. That's and like with the with the meal prep, the black and chicken, use some yellow rice and some broccoli. Real simple. Right. Of course, I put my spin on it. You know, there's some mm-hmm. different things going on within it. Okay. But most uh, meal preps is gonna be real healthy. Yeah, you know, low carb, mm-hmm. and that's good for those who want it. But right. for me, you are gonna shop with me because you probably just want a, a meal. You ain't got to cook no dinner or lunch. Okay, if you want to cut out um, a carb and you want to do two vegetables, we can do something like that. Mm-hmm. But I'm not, I'm not hell bent on getting my stuff down to where I'm vegan friendly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or veggie, <laughs> it's not, veggie it's not, friendly. It's not no a soul food for your boy. No, man. Because there's a lane <laughs> for that. There's a lane for that. I, I, feel, I, I don't enjoy your food so much. I'm like, bro. I know you could no, throw me. No, but some- if you got to be like a client, <laughs> yeah. If you're a client and we done been shopping already, and you're mm-hmm. talking about, man, I want to do something different. Then that's that's okay. when we do that. Mm-hmm. But if you're coming at me out the gate, yeah, I want some tofu. <laughs> because yeah. how, why are you coming at me? You done seen my Instagram. You right. know what I'm yeah. saying? I ain't right. got nothing tofu on here. <laughs> right. And then you gonna come at me and you want you some tofu? <laughs> you want you like some yeah. fake stuff. Right. <clears throat> it's water. <clears throat> it's like <clears throat> Nah man. It's so I, many shots going. I ain't going for the vegan, I ain't going for the veggie. <laughs> none of that. And, and, it. and that's okay because the people who don't appreciate that, that's cool because there's people who do appreciate not being vegan and that. Right, right. You know, that, it, everybody got their own lane. And okay. I ain't tripping on that. Okay. That's what's up. I ain't no, no. gonna do no, no tofu. <laughs> What are, what are like, little white squares? A little yeah. dehydrating, you know, a little healthy. Zero you got to get all, it's water in a oh. cube. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you just put the flavors the, together. It's no? a miss. Okay. Put that some tart rum, you know what I'm saying? A couple of hot sauce, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Man. A cup of hot sauce? A cup of hot sauce, cup. You know a whole cup. Cup. Okay. You know, they had this, uh, 
I, I watch a lot of podcasts and I watch a lot of uh, different types of YouTube things. And one thing I saw where they had these college kids and they were um, trying each other's top ramen. They were like broke college kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they were about. trying each other's top ramen or noodles mm-hmm. or something like uh-huh. that. And man, I was looking at it. I was like, oh man, I would love. You know what I want to be on? Uh, worst cooks of America, but mm. I know I can't make it because I'm not that bad. Does that make sense? Yeah, you just gotta fake it. Yeah, I was just gonna say you couldn't fake it. I know, th- I know that, but they have to be faking. Ain't no, no way they do that. No, they bad. Ain't no, it ain't no possible way. They was like, I just do the whole thing is wa- boiling over. They, they just can't looking can't at it. Water, it ain't no way. It ain't no way. <laughs> it ain't no way. They can be that, that bad. They can't that boil bad. water. Somebody okay. makes spaghetti. They it looked normal. They said, "Oh, let me go ahead and just put all this mayo in it for no reason." You, I be come man, on. I be oh Jesus, please give me this because they be they'll get on and they'll audition. You know, yeah. First, the first episode is where they come on and they say, "Give me your signature dish." There they you go. come on and they make they they favorite little dish that that's and, fake. and I be thinking to myself, all I want to do is just get to right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, where they say make your your signature dish. Mm-hmm. And you're gonna make and then and I'll make it and then they'll Sir, we're gonna have to get you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. That was a mix up. <laughs> right. That's how I feel. Like I hey, I wouldn't yeah. be able to make it. Cause that's a quick little 20 band. Yeah, mm-hmm. just and just, I can put that into my company. Right. You can do everything else. Oh, he got good uh knife skills, everything, and then you just do something stupid with that's it. That's all you gotta do. Right. Just, just pour a whole bunch of it like here it is. Oops. And that's a special sauce. Extra salty. Oops. It's just yeah. stupid. Can't do that, man. Just you, yeah. you, you can't, can't even you can't try to fake to be You bad. can't be that's like crazy. painting a house and then put a different color. Hello on there. You can? I thought it was going to pop. <laughs> <laughs> I need a little color I'll be, wa- be wanting to so bad. I'll be thinking, man, do. dang, worst cooks. That that could be it. Because chopped, that's different. That's yeah. Really very different. That's chopped fast. is different. That's I, and I know my levels. You and know they what I'm saying? Yeah. Ingredients you ain't never yeah, heard never. of. Never. Uh-huh. There be real chefs. I mean, co- trained mm-hmm. chefs right. on there with stuff they ain't never right. played with before. Yeah. So what's your... Uh, favorite ingredient that you like to use pretty much in a All lot the time, of things. Salt and pepper. Mm. That's easy. Cooks. There's some things that I keep okay. on deck. I mm-hmm. keep salt, you know, well, salt and pepper, that's not, I keep herbs, you know what I'm saying? Your dills and your parsley's, your, your cilantro. So you all about flavor. Things like that. Oh, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, spices. That's you gotta keep your spices on deck. You got a flavor? Mm-hmm. Everything. I don't use no... <laughs> Parse, I don't use dried stuff okay. unless like a recipe asks for it mm-hmm. or something like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I try to keep m- most things fresh. I'm I'm constantly at the store, okay. constantly. Oh, I'm almost sure. every day. Farmers markets, farmers markets, yeah, Costco's, crazy. Yeah, yeah. I got I, the I just, gold plates, crazy. I got a deep freezer now, though. Yeah. Uh-oh. Carson, he's gonna challenge you. I done got it up to a yeah. deep freezer now. Pork chops, mashed potatoes. Oh, he said he's gonna challenge you. No, Signature. Hey, he said he don't want okay. that. Okay, I got, I got well, another question. Though? I got another question. I mean, he coming on the staff. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I got another Bro, question. For free. So. For free. <laughs> I, I don't <laughs> see it. I don't see I, I went through your, your Instagram with Buzzy's Basket and I like fried chicken. Mm hmm. Do people ask for fried chicken? No. Nah. This is kind of like a, this is almost like a two parter. So that was the first one. Do people ask for fried chicken? Mm-mm. You said you see my Instagram. If you don't see it on there, no, 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 no. It's on there. Oh, it's it's on, on there, but it's not heavy. Oh, it's, it's not, not heavy. heavy. That fried go, chicken, go. I think it's probably like one fried chicken post on there. And that was from, for my wife and I. Now, fried chicken is something that I would do for a private dining, mm-hmm. something like that. Or or uh, meal delivery, mm-hmm. maybe not even that, unless it's like just a couple of uh, just a few customers. Mm-hmm. But meal prep, no, because I don't like refrying, reheating fried chicken. It's whack. Mm-hmm. You want fried chicken like right there. Yeah, you want yeah. it fresh because mm-hmm. okay. that coating and that dredging that you put on the chicken after a you day. Coating in the uh-huh. you, I like the old grease too. 
You like not even the grease, not like the crust that be on the reheat of the microwave. Soft, it's not crispy. Oh, it be like, oh, that's so you that like spot. that. But see, that's mm. what that's cool. That means that you could ask for it, and yeah. we could do that. Bet. Most people won't ask for that. So yeah. when I, see, when see, I and I have a thing like about because you know here in Atlanta, they got these uh, upper echelon chicken spots, mm-hmm. uh-huh. and I don't believe in paying. $20 for a three-piece. $20 for a three-piece. We got this? No, 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 no. No, no uh, it, it, was a, it was a, it's a place, uh, I cannot think of the name of it. It's Atlantic Station. Is it Whole Chickens? It's not <laughs> Wings, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like Drumettes? <laughs> right. No, it's, it's, I think, I think you, you might get. like get, leg quarters, ain't you? Yeah, you might get, no, no, no. You might get like some dark meat. That's a you leg get, quarter, a thigh and a, and a leg. Yeah, that's a leg quarter. You might get, yeah, you might get a three pieces and, and, and it, and it you might be. You get three like, leg quarters? Well, you it's get, on the menu. You, you can get two got, or three. So that's six pieces. You get three thighs and, and, and three legs? No, 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 no. You get maybe a, a thigh or two thighs and a leg. Some fries and a drink. And a fries and a drink. And you spend it about $15. Yeah, show me well. That don't sound that bad. That no. That bad. No, I, I just, I Is just. It, it don't taste good though? That's that's my thing. No, there it the is. It's, it's the, 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 right, yeah. and that's my thing. And I'm like fried chicken, and this <laughs> right <laughs> here. Off camera, you have to tell me where, cause this right here, nah. Yeah. So, you know, would you just be and like fries? Right, uh-uh. fries. You just uh, dropping it in the grease. That's not. You don't need. You don't need to charge for no fries. Carl get mad, man. He's like, no, fried chicken and fries go no, together. No, I mean, said, that's it, what I want together. Do. Fried chicken and fries. I'm I'm from here, man. Yeah. Fried chicken and fries. Uh, fried rice and chicken. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A whole bunch I, of fried I everything. Get, I get that, but. What you want a little? What would you put together then? Come on. You talking about fried chicken? Fried chicken. I know, I know just, y'all been to Harold's Chicken, right? Yeah. I've never yeah. been there. You've been to Real Harold's? Yeah, never been to Harold's? I've never been Harold's here is different than the, the Real Harold's. There's several places I've never been. I've never been to Ruth Chris. Yeah. Well, yeah, overrated. I've been one. It's now. overrated. That's it's overrated. Why I've never times. been. It's Early overrated. Been. I only go for the cream brulee. <laughs> See, and that's why I never been. Man, that, I used to kill that at my restaurant, creme brulee. Uh, creme brulee. Tough. Out. That's a good little dessert right there. <laughs> creme brulee. Mm. Get some mixed berries in that mug. I don't think they're just oh, flaming it. It's just, it's just burnt sugar. I took, but don't, don't, don't crust you the top. You can't burn it. You can't burn it. Don't crust the top. Just leave. You don't like the top. Just don't want to kill it. Just, just. That's what it is. You're like eggs and you sugar. Sure you <laughs> eggs I, and sugar. I ain't picking. Well, I mean, that, I guess that's really what it is. It's eggs and sugar. But you need that little even, even the crust on top, that's sugar. Yeah, yeah a little crust, but it's, what it's a different it? texture. It, it, te- it, it does something. Cause Cause texture. Cracking and eating. Yeah, I know a little something. Man, texture. Don't burn the top. You don't. You can put it on there and not burn it. You want that? You want that sugar to be. Browned a little bit. But you don't want it browned at all. Yeah, you don't want it burnt. You just, nah, I mean, you just want to cool. sprinkle on there. Nah, you, you I'll take it anyway. But he he, he wants want it just br- sprinkled on there. What? The sugar? The sugar? Just put it on top and that's it. No. Nah. I don't know. Oh, man. Yeah, I ain't done a creme brulee in a minute. Uh oh. Go to creme. There you go. Ruth Chris got the best creme brulee. You probably don't. What? Well, stop. Mm. You got the best creme brulee. I guess I got to do a creme brulee. I don't do a creme brulee. I tried it. It was a disaster. Mm. Oh. You tried to cook one? I tried to cook it, yeah. What? Okay, you, <laughs> <laughs> you be trying to get in the kitchen. 2010, 2011, I did. I, I was going to oh, go he remember the dates. Booth. And um, Atlanta Art Institute. I was going to go. Yeah, I was on my culinary. Oh, yeah. That don't mean he can cook, though. Watch your mouth. Just because he's going to go, don't mean he can cook. He Leftovers come. Hey, no way. Uh, no way. Hey, that's a name. Hey, that's a name for you. You talking about that pork leftovers? He was talking about that pork. Just pork. Pork. You know what? No, no, you know no. What? That's, 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 that's a slick that's little name, though. That's no, what I. And you saw me with the. And you saw me with the leftovers, man. I got stolen. It's too late. No, it's we already have it on here. So it's mine first, right? No, I'm just saying. Like I get a percentage. The name. I don't the want name. it. I don't want it. I just want <laughs> to be my own. Yeah. You go, just want it. If, if I see it next time, you see it on there, leftovers. Hmm? Anything put on there for leftovers. I signed that paper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's over with. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's you can see how you look. <laughs> that's a testament of how it is, though. No, that's also, <laughs> if you hungry, right? Hmm? If you hungry and you at the house, I don't really want this, but. You know who be eating? 
my wife. Mm-hmm. Oh, living, I'm sure she enjoys all oh, your cooking. She's living good, man. Are you popular at events, like family events or anywhere? They be like, oh, I know he going to slide through. With Usually, my family events are real small. Mm-hmm. I have my I have my younger sister, and she's married, and they got two children, my niece and nephew. I have my parents, and I have me, my wife, and my daughter. Yeah. It's usually just us, mm-hmm. you know what okay. I'm saying? We don't really too much be going out, linking up with other family right now. Not in these couple last couple of years, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. But even before then, it was all of us, mm-hmm. just my immediate family. But when we do link up, everybody calling me. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I'm sure. I think I'm sure. Proud, they you with the pot you look. Can you do this they real are, quick? Man, they they really uh, they really take my opinion seriously. That's what's up. But mm-hmm. my parents, that's who I take seriously. They cook better than you. Mm, no, mm. you cook better than mom. You can. I'm so say it loud and proud. What I'm, what I'm gonna say is, <laughs> I tread call, lightly. I call my parents when I want to get some advice about something. Okay. Like my dad, not my mom, uh-huh. but my dad. We wanted to send him to culinary school. Okay. Because of how he is. Yeah. My dad's an old head now, man. He like 71, you know what I'm saying? So, or 70, 70 he's 71 now. Yeah. My dad, is, he's something else in the kitchen. Okay. So when I when I he's call better. him about food, I, I, he's like my mentor right now. Yeah. Okay. It's, okay, you know you can reach out to people on Instagram. I've done that. Yo, I'd like for you to be my mentor. This that, and the third. They don't reach out to me. They too busy. Mm. Yeah. So I reach out to who I have, and that's my daddy. Okay. I got one more question. This is my last question. You think so? Since, since we got a chef here. Okay. You uh, like breakfast? Here you go. I do like breakfast. You eat cereal. Hey, oh, I ain't had cereal in a long time, but Jesus. yeah. Is it a problem? Are you a that psycho? I put my milk in first, then the cereal. I dump my milk, my whole milk first. I grab my smacks. You doing I, smacks? Smacks, and then I use the with spoon the frog. Tip. Yeah, the green frog. I hit dude with the spoon tape. He's, he's trying to be nice. I don't think it's no problem with that. Appreciate okay, so. Oh. Here's, here's let it quick. go. Let it go. No, that. No, but it's, I mean, <laughs> how do you? Put a your, chef last time told you did, me I had no, no, no problem because that's his preference. My, talk to me. That's his preference. That's his preference. Oh, is that normal? It's not normal. Okay. So it's hard. So I can't be unique. That's more than unique. That's a little psycho. <laughs> it's not. It's not psycho. People, people who psycho. do mass shootings. That's psycho. Right. They. I bet you they eat the cereal the same way. <laughs> they start pouring in there. Let me push I'm this like, down. You hard at that. <laughs> You start because pushing it's it down. Crazy. You push it down, and just like ah, oh, yeah, I have to go. It's not. You see how you look? <laughs> Psycho. Oh, you, 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 nah, you're egging me you, on. You're no, egging me on. You did it yourself. It's not. You saw it. It's look not. At him. It ain't normal, but it ain't. It ain't. I don't think you tripping. Are you sure? Show me I'm somewhere sure. on the cereal okay, box. You say you have to prepare cereal. It don't. Right. You just know we probably shouldn't even be eating cereal. I know we should. I mean, I haven't you get like, I haven't you know, like cereal man and, and oats, that type of man, stuff. Yeah. Add it with some fresh fruits. It's probably That's been over a year. Whole milk, apple jacks, yeah. all that yeah. stuff. It's, it's been sugar. over a year since I had cereal. It's not doing it for uh, nutrients. Mm-mm. You're doing it just because it tastes good. Man, like or it could be like one. I haven't ate smacks. A one. Fruity pep. Ugh. Oh, the best cereal is the soggy cereal. Soggy cereal. See, smacks. Psycho. No, smacks. You have teeth. I'm a not I'm a crispy kind of guy. Yeah, you have teeth. Supposed to let the Use uh, cereal sit gums in the milk for like up to one one minute and a half. That's what you're supposed to do. You I can, mean, just coming from a cereal. He put a spoon in a bowl, pour it up with milk. You ever had s'mores, <laughs> Kellogg s'mores? I have. That was yeah. pretty good. It y'all like all right. Oh wow! See all your. I don't know what this is gonna be like now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who this is gonna be like now. You know, you agree with him on a certain shit. No, know. that's wow. good. That's good because they give you an opportunity to try it. Because yeah. you can try right it. now. Yeah, Ooh. you got all, you got mm. your whole evening. Oh, don't worry. I'll let you know. I, I, I'm sure. Help! I know. I like to say stuff is trash mm-hmm. when it's true. Yeah, when it's true. So it could be true. Don't put your. I have no problem don't put your foot in your mouth. I have no. I didn't say it's going to be trash. How was the lamb? 
Because he's best something. chicken. Best chicken. I'm, okay. I've best never best. had your chicken, but I'm going to taste it. That's easy peasy. I mean, people say that. And peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> peanut butter jelly is the best sandwich. But and that's that's peanut butter and jelly. In his yeah, you just made his point. Said, but we'll see. He, he he compared it to something that's the best, right? In my opinion. Peanut butter and jelly is the best. The best. Are you talking sandwich? about cereal? Best sandwich. <laughs> best sandwich. You gonna man, put peanut on, butter man. and jelly over like yes. any sandwich with meat in it? Yes. <laughs> best sandwich. Just sandwich, not a sub. He just just. I didn't say the sub. sub. I was just saying it's just. You can sandwich. have the same two, little garbage little bread. Iron Kids bread with some meat in between it. Oh, no, no. Just call lazy. It's the best one. Over with. Peanut butter and jelly. Man, come on. Call lazy. Y'all wow. He put peanut butter glass of crunchy. I do not eat crunch. Orange juice is the we you already talked about orange juice, man. Orange, orange you don't jelly? dip it nothing. You don't orange, orange jelly? No, that's that orange marmalade? <laughs> Come on, chef. Orange jam. <laughs> no, I don't want nothing. <laughs> Great. Smuckers. Damn. Sweet strawberry. What? Strawberry yeah, I like strawberry too. around. Yeah. I got some jelly from uh from a farm, you know. It's it's there you go. I got some too. Right. Jam, you know, from the farm. From the farm, right? From the farm. You, know, you, gotta, farm. you gotta eat that. Shout quick. out to uh Southern Dale Farm. <laughs> <laughs> got some oh my goodness. Have you had the ice cream? Yes. Strawberry ice cream in the house right now. Southern Bell. Southern Bell. Shout, Shout out to Southern Bell. I don't care about Southern Bell. They, they hey. ice cream fire. They strawberries straight out the farm fire. Don't fire. pick them yourself. We've done enough picking. Oh. Get them already pre-picked. <laughs> I picked when I, I just went. I've I done picked. that before. You yeah. know, but Got that's over cool. with. Just do it for did the one time and don't do it again. Huh? Did you hum when you did it? <laughs> no. <laughs> the last time I picked strawberries, <laughs> last time I picked strawberry, I wasn't even a teenager. I was probably like eight, nine, something like okay. that. Okay. He said, "Let me I'll go." Be. He, you went inside and got the basket. Give me the basket. Yeah, you went inside, paid. The I, and I got that barbecue piece. sauce. You said you said you supposed to go make sure you're getting the right product, right? You supposed to go out there and smell the strawberries. Who doing that? Huh? To make sure you get the best one. You go to the farmer's market, you just pick it up and just walk off? You or you look it, at when it? You get, when you get the fruit from Publix in a sealed bucket, <laughs> you're going to smell it? You're going to open it and smell it? Yeah. Oh, here no, goes. you know. <laughs> no, here's a question. You're not going to open okay, the bucket. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. Here's a question. Do you steal grapes? No, no, I don't do that. You never did it. Steal grapes? Okay, so when you go up there, you just take a grape and taste it. See if it's good. The last time I done that, I was probably in elementary school. But you did it? Yeah. Did you feel bad about it? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. My mama did it. <laughs> and my daddy. Everybody still a grape. You got it ain't stealing. Taste test. <laughs> okay, so do you open up a loaf of bread and just taste taste something and make sure it's <laughs> not molded? Nah. Who does that? No, <laughs> but you eat the you, you taste tested. No, you so why I, the grapes taste tested? You squeeze on the low. That, you squeeze on the low to not, test the low. Not bad. That's a sealed bag. That's a twisted bag. Okay, you do you take a banana it. and just eat it? It's no, out. Oh, but a grape no. is you gonna buy a, you gonna buy a, a green banana to make sure it's right? If you want to, why would you do? that? I would not. Why would you buy an unripe banana and see if it's right? There's no way to tell Sometimes. if the grape is if, if the grape is ripe or not by other okay, than well, watermelon either. You don't know. No, you can. No, there's you there's some method. Method. that old that old there's method. Method. People are like, go ahead, thump it, and listen to it. That don't work. Yeah. Somebody who don't eat watermelons. I eat watermelon. Yeah, I'm buying, sure you do fried chicken and watermelon, boss. Oh, okay, you you buy 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 you buy buy strawberry. You buying the seedless watermelon? Oh no, I don't. That's fake. Seedless. No. He get throwing shots about a lot of stuff. He said fake meat. Don't eat it. Don't eat the fake watermelon. What else? Tofu. Ah, tofu. <laughs> what on with the shenanigans? Let's keep going. Saying, keep but, going. But, but, Mr. I mean, Mr. Billboard, like, I appreciate you uh, joining us on the podcast, showing us a nice little uh, dish. Yeah, man. I hope y'all enjoy dish right it, here, man. man. I, and uh, I hope all my I listeners hope I do too. then learn something today. <laughs> you know what, man? <laughs> I really do. Go support. Let me man. tell you. And uh, give me a true. I will. He will. That's get, give give my guy a support, man. All the viewers who's watching right now, you support my man right here. Please, thank you. Busby's Baskets. You can find him on Instagram. IG, Busby's Baskets on IG. Spell uh, it one more time for him. B U S B Y S B A S K E T S. Baskets. Damn. Yes, Baskets. Okay. You can get him now. Busby J. Vincent. That's my personal page. You'll be able to find Busby's Baskets through there. It don't even matter. I just want some, you know, I love the support. Yeah, don't ask for no discounts. Have your money ready. Right. Intern hey. coming soon for free. And reviews. Drop that deposit. And Drop reviews. that deposit reviews. now. Yeah. Website, all that stuff. And Ask don't it. say nothing about the prices if you see something. You be like, whoa, hey, you got it. You got, you got it. it every day. 
This is. But yeah, man, I, I, I appreciate yeah. you being on the show. Uh, thank you, man. I appreciate Coming out you here guys inviting me on, man. You want to see that? Well, I can see you know, we got some good man. food over here, and we're gonna enjoy this. And, yeah, and I hope all my listeners and our fans out there, you should go support my guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a blessing. Black owned business. Black owned. I Black appreciate owned you guys business. having me on. Just being on Just Listen Podcast. It's a blessing. Appreciate it. It really and, uh, is. I just want to say this little tidbit, man. Your plating is, is, is immaculate. Thank you, man. I just want to let you what? You know, plating is everything to me. Uh, the bad. Boots. But, <laughs> but no, no, because. Awesome. No, because. Yeah. No, that's real, bro. Because even when you just create. Something that's quote unquote simple might not be simple for everybody, but mm-hmm. if it's simple for you, the plating matters because one, we, I think that we eat with our eyes first mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. two, that helped jumpstart what I got going on because a lot of people would ask, where you get that from? What restaurant you at? Mm-hmm. But that was just at the crib. Yeah. And that comes from my artistic background from college so i use that opportunity to once i'm finished creating food i get to plate it you know what i mean right. okay. it's all it's, it all goes hand in hand full circle and that's that that's the truth that plating i appreciate that man i i take i take that seriously there's I, sometimes I when i create food that is just for my wife and i that i really enjoy that I don't even post because I don't think it looked good enough to to post. Mm. Yeah, and it can be something real good, steak, pasta. It don't matter. Man. If I be like, babe, that, oh, no, that don't look good. I ain't gonna post it. <laughs> it might say, huh, these fruit roll ups don't. Because I good. just know right. that I just know that that ain't it. Okay. If I ain't gonna like it, why would somebody else like it? There you go. As far as the photo is concerned, there you go. The, the flavor is there. Okay. That's like you know. It just don't look good. Because mm. you want it to look good first. <laughs> Give me that plate. Okay. That's good, When man. you get big, we get free food forever. But shout out to Thank everybody. You. You didn't listen say no. to the oh, Just Listen podcast. I think I signed on you that. signed on that too. <laughs> Black will never read. Appreciate you uh, listening to us and watching us. All our platforms. We on everything. Uh, everything. YouTube. Mm-hmm. Podbean. Mm-hmm. iHeartRadio. Mm-hmm. Apple Podcasts. Spotify, there you, go. you know, Google we everything. We're everything. Google Podcasts, Amazon, not the, hey, you know, Amazon, we're everything, you know, everything. Anything you, know? you listen to, so go to the website, justlisten.com, J U S T L I S T E N N podcast.com. Get you a t shirt or something like that. We appreciate you. But, uh, any last words, y'all? This food better be good. Oh, it's gonna be straight. Thank you. Bye. I appreciate you, bro. But, like I always say, don't be the one hearing about it, be the one talking about it. Hello. Peace. Thank you, A.O.